One of the most important jobs of a leader is having the hard conversations. It is literally our responsibility to have them for the good of our company and the good of the people we lead. But by their very nature, they're hard to have. And I don't know anyone who prefers to have them who isn't a jerk, but I do know people who are good at them. And it's amazing how much more your company will thrive when you know how to have them. So the outcome can be a win-win for everyone. So here's three tips that will make the hard conversations a little bit easier and way more effective. If you're like me, you don't like to have hard conversations. Oh, you might be willing to. And if you've been in business for very long, you've already had a few. Most of you probably found a way to avoid a few of them also. Mm, especially when you shouldn't have. I just don't like them, but the harder they are, the more important they seem to be. And if we're gonna run thriving companies that are profitable and growing, then we have to be the kind of leaders that are also growing and willing to handle the hard moments. So I'm gonna give you three tips that can really change the impact of hard conversations and make them way more productive, which means they are ultimately not as hard. And I don't know about you, but if I can learn a few skills that can improve my leadership and make the hard conversations a little easier, then I'm all in. And it's important to say that while I've been using these three tips for a long time, I really like the way Charles Duhigg writes about them in his book, Super Communicators. So here we go. In any hard conversation, there is bound to be some kind of conflict. It's natural to want to control the conversation, but you never want to try and control the other person. They won't like it and you won't be able to find a good resolution. So when you want to control something, you need to focus on controlling these three things. And these three things are the three magic tips. The first thing you want to control is yourself. Let's talk about that for a moment. You can control your tongue. Great leaders have self-control and know what to say, what not to say. You can seek to understand. You can control your own thoughts. And remember, there's two people in this discussion and we're not always right. Another thing is repeat what you hear back. How about ask if you're correct? And if not, loop back through until they feel you're listening to them. This is powerful because in that conversation, you have control over how you're responding. And when you seek to understand someone and they feel understood, something powerful happens. The two of you can become focused on solving the problem at hand or the negative feelings you're having. The second thing you wanna remember or the second tip is you want to control your environment. Now, think about this. Not every time or place is the best time or place to have a hard conversation. If you're married and you're happily married, you know that having a hard conversation at 10 o'clock at night is not the best. Schedule it for the next day. If you're at work, mind the timing also. Having a hard conversation at 8 a.m. or 4.55 p.m. might not be the best time. Think about the timing and schedule the meeting for a better time if possible. And be mindful of where you are. Have private conversations in private and not in the front of a bunch of people that don't need to be there. Look, I learned a lesson a long time ago with our daughter. Make sure you're thinking about her dignity. Translate that to other people. Make sure you're always thinking, is this conversation gonna help them maintain their dignity? And sometimes, Private is important, and sometimes a conversation happens in a group and you just need to have hard conversations in the group. The third thing you wanna control is the conflict's boundaries. What do I mean by this? Well, make sure that the conversation stays on topic. Duhigg talks about a term called the kitchen sink. It means, basically, we're gonna throw everything into this conversation, and I'm gonna start bringing up past issues and other issues and things that aren't aligned with this thing. You wanna stay on topic because getting off topic can escalate the conversation or at best become unproductive because you're no longer talking about the main reason for the conversation. When you teach these three tips to your team, control yourself, control the environment, and control the boundaries, then something amazing happens. You may have been having a hard conversation, but you're working together to control these three things. And that helps you both win at the same thing having a more productive conversation so everyone can grow. And that's what I really want for you and your company. So if you wanna hear more tips and ideas on growing your leadership and your business, watch one of these videos here. You're gonna kill it if you just keep growing.